When Hales Bar Dam opened in 1913, it featured the first hydropower plant in the world on a navigable river. It also boasted a 59-foot high and 39-foot lift navigation lock, which made it possible for commercial traffic to make its way up the Tennessee River into Chattanooga. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District kept the lock operating 24 hours a day until the dam closed and Nickajack Dam began operating in 1967. A lock operator on the job at Hales Bar and at Nickajack visited the decommissioned lock December 19, 2013. He toured the crumbling lock and operations center and recalled days past when he locked through vessels headed up and down the river. About all we did was just keep the place cleaned up and lock boats through. And at that time, there was a lot of uh, oil being uh, transferred up and down this river. And they had uh, across the river over there, there was a boat company and he hauled sand, gravel, and everything. We used to lock quite a bit. That back then they didn't have no maintenance people. We we did that work ourselves. Kept the place up. Keeler served in the U.S. Navy in World War II, and then followed in the footsteps of his father, who served himself at one of the Cumberland River's old locks. His two brothers were also lock operators in the National District, so serving in the Corps of Engineers was something of a family business. George and I, a brother next to me, we, we were, and Jim, we all went to Nashville and joined the Navy. Then when we came out, well now I got hurt, and I got discharged about six months before the war was over. But when they came out, all of us went to work just like the family had done all in the generations. But it, it was good work. Even though Keeler still lives nearby Hales Bar Lock, this was the first time he had toured his old work site since he left the project in 1967. He walked reverently over the project site and the experience appeared to stir up a few emotions and special memories. He would stop to share the little things he remembered. Boy, it brings back memories, though. I've been up and down these a lot of time. Yeah, it was rough coming down them steps there when you had a big snow. <laughs> yeah, you take, there was no insulation or nothing. You can just imagine when they get down zero weather. It was cold, you, you didn't keep warm drinking water. That came from that tank they had up on the mountain up there. And we drink that stuff. The current lock master at Nickajack Navigation Lock is retiring soon, but he remembers when he first arrived to the project site in 1980. The first person he met was none other than Earl Keeler, who was about to end his illustrious career. They just taught me how we did things, how they did things at, at Nickajack. As far as just locking the boat, the things, the things you watch for at this particular lock with eddies and currents and wind directions, they just taught me how to do the job. And it was just, uh, it was great. I appreciate it so much. Witcher was on hand with Keeler during his visit to Hale's Bar, and they bantered back and forth about how the lock operated back in the day. The two professionals were in their element and Keeler said he really enjoyed his return visit. Well, I'm glad you got to come over here with us. I am too. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the National District at Hales Bar Dam Navigation Lock on the Tennessee River in Jasper, Tennessee.